Okay guys, today the cab comes off. I have everything I need to make my carts for the cab and the bed, but today it's just the bed. Uh, we got this great pallet in at work. Made out of these two by sixes. So that's enough to make the cart for the cab. Got all these as well. And then we also have some of these two by fours. And these we'll use to pick the bed up, pick the cab up and pick the bed up. And I got all the screws out of the pallet. And Menards have these on sale. Set of four. And their load capacity, well, it has 110 but I'm sure that's per wheel. Doesn't specify. It just says load capacity, 110 pound load capacity. So we're gonna assume that all together that's 440 pounds. And if it's not, I guess we'll find out. But yeah, cab is coming off today. Then we're halfway to a bare frame. Um, but I have my measurements all drawn up and I just have to make some cuts and put some screws through. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, it's like an hour and change amount of minutes later and the crappy cart is built it is not pretty but all my heights are perfect the back is exactly four inches taller than the front my widths are perfect it's fairly balanced and then we have these runners and it rolls and i put the locks these casters do have lockers on the back but I was going to put them on the front, but that was an oops. So they're just gonna be on the back. But yes, this will hold the cab quite nicely. And then I just gotta make one for the bed. And that one should be much simpler because we don't have to do these. We don't have to do stuff four inches taller and not odd angles and stuff. So that one will be a rectangle instead of a a trapezoid. So now I got to build a little adapter for my engine hoist. I have to get the hoist inside the cab and then I have to pick the cab up and roll the frame outside set the cab down on that cart, roll it to where it is currently, and then roll the frame back inside. That is at least the plan. And I think it's doable. Uh, it's about 10.20 right now, so we might not do it tonight. So I do have plenty of time to get this done. But I'd like to at least get my little adapter for the hoist built. So tomorrow night, it's just pick it up, shuffle stuff around, and move it around. So yeah, I think we'll see what I do. We'll see what I end up doing. Again, who knows how far I'll go. So my contraption is working. Uh, we are going to have to do it outside, though, because I have no room to back up the cab. But it is off all four points right now. There's... There and there. It's not perfectly balanced, but it works. So this is the idea. I would have preferred like a four by four or something, but it's working. <clears throat> so all we did is we have that half inch steel bar where the bolt hole used to be. And we have that, there's that shim because the uh, two by four is significantly narrower. So we had to shim it out and then even then it was sort of a friction fit. 
but it's on and it's working, but I gotta lower it back down, roll the whole truck chassis outside, get the hoist out there, pick up the cab, bring the cab inside, or more accurately, we'll roll the cart out there and set the cab down on the cart outside. And then we'll roll the, roll the cab inside on the cart roll the frame in, get all the tools in, and I'm done for the night. Um, yeah, and then I just gotta do the same thing for the bed. Get all the parts out of the bed. It's gonna probably take half an hour. And then we just do the same thing. Build a little frame. Pick it up, put it on a cart. So yeah, we'll get this done and we'll show you guys once it's all done. Cab is off. It's working very well. It's actually pretty well balanced. So now we just gotta get this under here. We gotta go up high enough. actually not a bad system for one person who doesn't have a lift this is not bad at all so i just gotta get it close line up the bottom mounts relatively close we'll drop it down just a little bit not so much that it touches in the front. Just enough. Because once we get one body mount landed, we'll line it up <laughs> relative, to, relative to that. Okay, so there's one touching right there. That's not perfectly centered. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's wait until we get close to touching on another one. Oh, it's going. Um, swing it this way. I think we can drop it down the rest of the way. Oh, look at that. Transferred perfectly. It's right on the body mount in the back in the front. The front looks really good. Oh, and it's at the perfect working height. Oh. That could not have gone better. Nope. Oh, I forgot to put one of those pins in. I forgot to put both of the pins in. Okay, I got really lucky. Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna put my phone down push the cab in because there's a lot of cracks in the black top. Okay, everything is in and now I have zero room to work on anything till this frame leaves. So until this weekend, I can't really get a ton of stuff done. I'll be cleaning a lot. I gotta take down that engine hoist again even though I really don't want to. But we do have to swap it back over to the hook to move the cab. Learning experience with this, build larger blocks for the casters. I'm gonna go through and swap them all out over um, once I have the room to do so. Just jack up each corner, drill off those blocks, and put bigger ones out. I almost lost two of the casters on my way in because of those potholes in the, uh, in the cement. I'm very lucky I didn't, but I could have lost, I could have seriously damaged the cab, broke glass, could have ruined my night. But I, by the skin of my teeth, didn't lose the casters. Extremely lucky. So I've learned that and we're going to improve that immediately. Um, other than that, that was the only really hang up and it, it didn't, cause a huge problem that's it's 
I, I eyeballed this pretty much. I took some rough measurements, but I eyeballed it off the old, of, off of the, uh, the new frame for the F-250. And it lined up perfectly with the cab pretty much, except for that front corner was a little tweaked. And yeah, it went pretty smooth. We can start really stripping down this part of the frame, getting the wiring off, the exhaust, uh, transmission cross member, save all the body mount, washers and whatnot. Um, and then yeah, just taking taking the bed off. I think for the bed we're gonna have to take off at the very end on um, the day we move, move this frame out or the night before. There's a little patch of grass and I could just wheel the frame there for the evening and then we put it on the trailer in the morning. So yeah, um, this evening went pretty smooth and it's a quarter after 11, so I'm gonna get out of here. So I got here at like 8.20. So really three hours to build the cart. Building the cart took about half the time. Well, building all of my attachments probably took about two hours and then another hour was set up and removing the last few things to get the cab off, little clips and stuff, things were clipped to it. And um, it went pretty smooth actually. So very, very happy. And you, the reason this is built so high is my little stool right there. When I'm welding, I want it at a good working height so I'm not killing my neck. So that's why this sucker is a good four or five inches no, I, I don't even remember how much taller it is. I think it was like nine inches taller overall. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, it's pretty good. This might be how high the trucker actually does ride someday. Who knows? Who knows what we're going to do with this truck. You could put 44-inch Super Swampers on her and really have some fun. I don't think that's going to happen. But, big step, finally got the cab off. And if I order the panels, I can start fixing a rust next week. So, or with, if I order the panels tomorrow, they'd probably get here within a week. And then I could start fixing the rust before the month is out. That's what I should have said. Overall, very nice. Very nice, I'm very pleased with my cart sans the stupid little feet because I went minimalist and uh, made them the absolute small size they could be. Shame on me, always overbuild, always overbuild. That is what that taught me, always overbuild. So yeah. Uh, we're gonna wrap it up for the night and next time, we are pulling the bed. Exciting, exciting.